Hey loves, before we get started, I do want to mention I have a 25% off code and it is the Quana 25. And I also want to mention that this video was sponsored by Simply B. Simply B does offer on trend fashion in a range of sizes, as well as you are invited to win a three night stay and flight to Seattle where you will get to visit the photo shoot location for Simply B in their campaign. And I will leave all the details and links for the items in the description down below. And that is it. Let's jump right in. Hey loves, welcome back to the channel. So, woo, I am hot, I am tired, but I am really excited about this haul. Now, I have about 10-ish pieces from Simply B. I had heard of them, but I had never tried them. And honestly, like I am really excited to share these pieces with you because I feel like they're so fall, they're so pretty, and they just, I don't know, they just looked really good on, okay? So, I am wearing one of the outfits, so I'll talk about this one last, okay? <laughs> So let's get into the other item. So this will be like a styling. Um, I did do the get ready with me portion. I'm going to do the hair and makeup portion at the end. And then the beginning will be this try on portion. So it's like a, somewhat of a lookbook. Not really. But I did try to style the pieces a little bit for you guys. So you can have an idea of how I will wear them. So the first thing I have is this plaid dress. And I'll leave the prices and sizes on the screen. I feel like... For the quality of their clothing the prices were worth it it's not like way up there but they are you know not super low not super high they're like in the middle so the first thing i have is this plaid dress and it happened to match my makeup look for the day so i was really excited um however it's like a high low dress the only thing is it's too high in the front for me and i usually have that issue with dresses but it's usually reversed it's usually too high up in the back but because this is a high low dress um, it's low in the back and high in the front, so I didn't have the problem with the back being too short. It was the front. Um, the buttons were kind of okay. I did have some gapping, you know, when your boobs or anything, you know, in the front, when you start getting them gaps in between your buttons. I did have that issue, so um, I would recommend sizing up because I wanted it to be, like, loose and flowy, and I feel like one size up would have did the trick. So I decided to pair this with some booties, and you'll see me trying it on. Here is a pair of jeans. I was really curious to try their jeans because they do go to, I don't know the exact size they go to, but I know I got these jeans in a UK 28, US 24. Now, because I had never tried their clothes, I was really skeptical when I didn't get a 22 because usually I would go for a 22 um, if I'm doing like numbers but I had never tried them so I decided to pick up this black pair in a 24 and the blue pair that I have. Uh, it has a little bit of distress and it has a nice bottom. It has like that frill bottom and like a split. I really like that and that's why I picked them out really because they weren't just any jeans. They were like a nice basic but not too basic. So I did get those. I styled these jeans I think in like three different outfits. So the first outfit I did was including First of all, let me get back to the jeans. Um, they fit okay. Like, I feel like I could have got away with a 22, but then it might have been too tight in the thigh area. So, I really wouldn't know what size to get for my jeans from them because I did have gapping in the back and I did have a lot of space. So, I would have to wear a belt to keep them up because I feel like walking around all day, they might fall down. So, I was like on the fence with these jeans because I feel like they fit nicely. Like, they fit okay. But I just had like a little too much wiggle room and gapping in the back and then. But other than that, like they are nice. They have a nice little stretch to them. But they're like an authentic feeling denim, not like a jagging. So the first thing I styled those denim jeans, the black denim jeans with, was this choker cutout bodysuit type thing going on here. And I believe, like I said, I don't even remember what I got as far as the sizes so I'll have to definitely leave them on the screen so um it is a long sleeve because we're this was more geared towards the fall so it is long sleeve it has like the choker and a little cutout and it is a bodysuit and the snaps are very secure and then I had on the black jeans some over the knee boots but what made the look come to life for me was this faux fur jacket absolutely loved it um it's like a navy and i've been into navy this fall like i picked up a, a few navy things a few like faux velvet or suede and just crushed velvet and stuff like that so 
I've been into it. So why not get the fur jacket? It does have like this shiny lining, which is really cute. If you want to, how do I want to say it? <laughs> if you want to style on them, you know, not really have the jacket all the way on and just have like this peeking out and it hanging off a little bit. Like, I think that was cute. It is like a crop jacket and it does fit like it fits. Okay. Because <laughs> I have some fur that it'll go on, but it won't um, snap in the front. So this one has two snaps in the front and it does actually close on me. I just love this color this season. I don't know why, but I'm into the navies. Okay. So the next top I have is this um, high neck top and it's again that navy color. Um, it was, I don't know, I just feel like it was an awkward length on me, so I did tuck it into the jeans, and it does have, like, this cutout, it's like a choker in the back, like, it's like the black shirt reversed, and then you have, like, a, a diamond cutout in the back, but you'll see me trying it on, and oh my gosh, I have to stick, <laughs> huh, huh, boy, anyways, <laughs> um, Thank you to the people. I know some people would just automatically say bless you. So thank you to those people who did that. Uh, so this was really warm, by the way. So I feel like if it's maybe a 60 degree day, like this would be nice and you wouldn't need a jacket on top of it. This was really cute. And like I said, I've been feeling the navy blue. Like I've been into it. So the last way I styled the black jeans were with some sneakers and this simply be bomber now this bomber is really nice like it's simple i think i actually asked for the maroon one or the burgundy one but um i got the green one which and i was fine with that like you know it's okay <laughs> but i like this bomber because it was really roomy my arms didn't feel tight inside of it it is pretty plain um oh, i thought it had like the sizes on it but i probably got it in like a 20 or a 22 um and it is a long line bomber. It has the pockets and it's just really plain and simple. There's no patches or anything like that because patches and floral uh, patches are really like popular. But this one was plain and it's like a breath of fresh air. And you can definitely dress it up and it gives you room to play around with, with your outfit because you're not worried about the patches and stuff like that. So I did like this. It's super lightweight. So today it's like um, the high was like 70. When I leave out around 8, it'll be... 63 ish i think so this would be good for a night like tonight with like a t-shirt or a cami under it and just some jeans and some sneakers but i'm actually gonna wear this outfit because i like it so with this bomber i put on just this plain white just nice little crisp long sleeve shirt and i got the three pack so i have it in gray and black as well but it just looks like this it's just a plain old t-shirt like I can't explain like it's nothing really special about it but you can definitely take it and dress it up the same way I did or dress it down and wear it casually but you can never go wrong with some t-shirts so I only tried on the white one but but I also have it in black and it does stretch it has a nice stretch to it and it doesn't feel like the material that as soon as you put it in the washing machine and dryer that it might shrink it doesn't feel like that it's like a nice quality material and then i also got it in gray so i got the three pack that came with the white the gray and the black and i just felt like those were necessities like for the fall for the days you just want to throw on that some sweatpants and some sneakers or some joggers and some jeans and you know, you can just mix and match, but have a plain shirt. So I was feeling that. And the last thing I have is what I'm wearing. <laughs> and it's nice. It's like a little bell sleeve sweater, three quarter sweater. And then it does come like, let's see. If you pull it down, it will come almost, it almost cover my butt right now. But, um... You know me. <laughs> no, but I pulled it up a little bit. I played around with it as a crop sweater. I just, you know, I like the loose feeling that it has to it. And you'll see me trying it on because I know I'm just talking about it. And then I got these jeans. And they were actually like a medium wash. And they were distressed on the knee. It had like a gold little buckle detail on the ankle. And it had the split, like the black jeans. So I thought these were really, really cute. 
So I'm just looking at them in the mirror. <laughs> I just think they're really cute. I don't know if it flatters my butt as I would like it to. But other than that, like it did give me a nice shape. And I know I'm talking to y'all looking over here. But it gives me a nice shape. I just feel like, again, I would need a belt. I had the little gap in the back. Uh, so I would definitely need a belt. And... Yeah, these had a little stretch too, but it feels like that authentic denim. Another thing I want to mention is the pockets, okay? They come with the front pockets, and that is just so cute. Not, It's just convenient, you know, because I don't always want my phone in my back pocket. I do like to put it in my front pocket. And then sometimes, you know, when you're taking pictures, you don't have anywhere to put your hands. So those pockets are really convenient, okay? <laughs> it might sound crazy that I really love pockets um, to have them basically for pictures when I want to pose and stuff but I just think it's a nice look or you know you just stand in there and you just want to put your hands in your pocket like I just can't stand that a lot of companies these days don't make jeans with front pockets so I'm very appreciative of Slumpy so what am I about to say I'm very appreciative of Simply Be okay um and as my first impression I would definitely give this company like I, I don't know like it definitely deserves an A I had really no misses I did have some mishaps but they weren't complete misses okay um I just feel like I loved everything in this haul and lately I've been locking up on my choices because yeah these are definitely fall appropriate definitely cute and trendy and even the simple stuff was cute y'all <laughs> so anyways thank you guys so much for joining and yes this video was sponsored by simply be i do want to mention that before i close out i thank you guys so much for joining i'll leave all the links and details you might need in the description bar